All right, fellas, well, it's Friday, and that can only mean one thing here at Newtown Brew. It's time to delve inside the fridge of commercial craft beer. Pick one out and uh, see what we think of it. Today's beer is it's a beer from the Allendale Brewery uh, here in the UK. And this is the Pennine Pale Ale. This has been brewed with pale malt, Munich malt and Vienna malt and it's using three big punchy American hops, Columbus, Cascade and Citra. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. It's about 32 degrees here in the brewery because we've just opened up and all the fridges have been on so friggin' right. This is going to be something that's uh, well deserved on a day like today. Let's get it cracked open, get her in a glass and uh, We'll see what we think about it. A big thanks to our channel sponsors for sending this over for us to try. Beersofeurope.co.uk, biggest online beer store in the UK. Go and check them out. Their selection is vast, covering the globe. So go and check them out. Well, let's get this in a glass now and see what we've got. Oh, this is gonna be an enjoyable, enjoyable pint. So this is a golden ale, although on the website they say it's a blonde ale. But nevertheless, it's a pale ale, 45 IBUs, and uh, just look at that. Beautiful, a golden straw colour. Not too much uh, not too much haze on there, but it's, it's just a good looking beer. It's not bright white, it's not completely filtered, and it's formed... That tractor going past. It's my father-in-law bringing in the hay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Don't ever work with kids, animals or farmers. So the carbonation is there, it is streaming up the glass and it's formed a little bit of a cap. It has uh, sort of somewhat dwindled while we were waiting for the tractor to disappear. But uh, yeah, lovely white head. Oh, the aroma on this is so inviting. It's just coming out of the glass. Lovely sweet tropical hints, big big tropical fruits, touch of citrus but mainly these big tropical fruits and you don't have to go searching for them, they just find you. The aroma is fantastic. Not really picking up much of the malts, it's more of the hop dominant on the aroma so cheers guys and uh, yeah let's dive in for, for this. Oh wow, big tropical sticky flavours coming through, your passion fruits, your mangoes and a lovely citrus sort of roundness that sort of holds everything together, really really good. The aroma, the punchy aroma of the tropical hops is the same on the flavour, you really do get them punching the way through, they are so noticeable you cannot sort of miss them and the malts the malt profiling for this is perfect. The pale, the Vienna and the Munich just sort of come together as a base to sort of showcase the hops. They are there, you know they're there, but they're not intrusive, they're not out of balance. They don't try and steal anything away from the hops. For me, it's, it's all about the hops on this pale ale. Yeah. Fantastic. There's a little bit of residual sweetness in there, but really it dries out. The malts really dry out, really refreshing, leaves you wanting more. You, you have to go back for more, and uh, it's hard not to because it's, it's such a tasty pale ale. It's 45 IBUs and 4%, so it's like an all-day all boozer, isn't it? Really easy drinking. The carbonation is just enough that it lifts everything. Yeah, the... The bitterness on the back end, really well balanced. It's not over the top, but it's just there. Just enough playing with the carbonation, just to lift everything, just to freshen everything up. And uh, again, leave you going back for more. Them hops though for this are just fantastic. It's just a well balanced beer. Everything's got its place and everything's working together like small little individual cogs of a machine that 
create something really, really tasty. So, a recap of this beer. The Pennine Pale Ale. Where's the bottle? The Pennine... The Pennine Pale Ale from uh, Ollendale Brewery. For me, the star of this pale ale is the big, punchy American hops. Straight away off the aroma, and you don't have to go searching for them, like I said. Big, tropical notes coming off of it. Really inviting, and it follows through onto the flavour where their malts just sort of lift it and hold it there. The hops are really pronounced in the, in the flavour of this. It's, it's fantastic. Really clean, really crisp, really drinkable. And there's not a lot more to say about it. It's a fantastic beer. So listen guys, if you are interested in trying this, don't take my word for it. I will leave a link below in the description box where you can go directly to this beer on beersofeurope.co.uk and I'll also leave a link to the main shop. Go over and peruse, if you will. Their beer range from across the world is vast. It really is. Go and, go and try them out. And that's it guys. As always, don't forget to thumb up this video. Please don't want to do. And don't forget to subscribe the little red subscription button that says subscribe click it and you won't miss out on what's coming up next and share the video get it out there for all to see and as always guys i'm out of here Boop.